Well, you actually know where I am. You all know where I am. I'm sitting in this incredible red couch, and I have um, Eddie Bell with me. Eddie Bell has never been on my show. He's a little shy, I think. Are you? Just a little bit. Just, Just a little, little tiny bit. bit. But your wife is Queen G. Now, we all know Queen G. I mean, yeah. she's, I've known Queen G for... She's not coming on today, but she did not let her husband come on set without her being here. So she's filming back here. I think she's just keeping an eye on you so, you know, you don't get into trouble or anything happen to you. <laughs> <laughs> she's keeping a big eye on him. Now, you are actually a producer and you're in the entertainment business. And I don't know what you do. What do you do? Um, basically a filmmaker. Um, a filmmaker. Yeah, I do a lot of short films for Queen G, and the Queen G Live Experience, and the Let's Go to Work Entertainment Network. Now, Queen G, when you talk about that, it doesn't she do like a little coffee morning thing or something? Something she does in the morning. She has, oh, she used to do that. Well, she used to do yeah, that. Yeah, she used so. to do that. So, so now she's really filming a show now. Yeah. you are filming. Yeah, and also we got this thing called uh, Operation Bring Your Best. Operation. Bring your best. Bring your best. Yes. Operation. Bring your best. So tell me what this is. Um, what we do is help people in the community. So I'm doing short films on. Now, if I'm things. not mistaken, um, the reason you do this is because you and Queen G were in a little bit of a predicament some time ago. Yes. And you had um, quite a few people coming forward to help you. So now you're actually what they're doing now is you're giving back. Yes. Because you know, he knows how that situation works. Yes. You know how upsetting it is with, you know, your house, yes. your business, everything kind of disappearing and yeah, running yeah. on its own somewhere. Yeah, you, you know, uh, God had to break us down to get us to understand where other people was at. Is that how you feel it was? Something yeah, kind I of feel like because. If we was in a position higher than we was, we probably wouldn't be doing. But you wouldn't, you wouldn't know the situation, and you wouldn't understand it. Wouldn't understand you, it. You, to go through something is a little different than just talking about it. Yeah. You've got to go through it to understand Stand. what it is. Yes. Um, now, what I've seen about Vegas, I've seen a tremendous. I mean, oh, this is a moment I love. We have sixteen thousand homeless children in Nevada, and when I say Nevada, I probably mean mostly in Vegas. That's just children. This is under 18. So that's now, facts. and that's fact. 15,000, 16,000 around that time. There shouldn't be one. Now, when we talk about the homeless people, there's a lot of homeless people here that I, I don't think is really recognized or brought up or people know about it. Mm -hmm. um, why? Um, they don't like uh, to be known they're homeless? No. A lot, well, you know, this is Vegas. It's entertainment. A lot of people... It's the entertainment business of the world. Hey, yeah, you on. know, I mean... No one's supposed to be broke A lot now. of people in Vegas don't want to let people know they're homeless. I mean, you got homeless people living in the suburbs. You got homeless people who do have jobs. Well, you got homeless people all over the world, actually. That's true. But Vegas, but they don't seem like, to like to bring it out. No, they don't, they don't like to bring it out. I mean, if you're homeless, say you're homeless. I mean, it's nothing to say you're homeless. Tell somebody that you're homeless. You tell, and you, you can tell somebody up. that you need help. Yes. It's not. It's not homeless. Not, you don't have to bring homeless in. Do you say you need help? That's which it. is a great idea. So what are you doing now? You're, you're, you've got this new organization coming along. How's it coming along, and how are you able to help? Um, we've been getting a lot of donations in. Um, a lot of people's been helping. A lot of foundations been helping. Um, we, lately, we've been getting bread donations, so we've been taking the bread and making sandwiches and going out in the streets and, and just passing them, out the sandwiches. Yeah. If they have something, you know. So you're kind of giving them a Christmas present yeah. of food that we all have every day. Yeah. But some people don't have that every day. Yeah. So that's one of the businesses you're doing, and then you also, you know, film for your for your wife. Yeah, and I'm I'm filming the journey. You're, you're, you've got a journey going. Yeah, okay, I'm filming well, the Operation Bring Your Best Journey. Really? Like this morning, I just dropped a, a, a short film this morning. A short film? Yeah. Well, when he says he dropped it, I presume you mean you just filmed it. Well, no, I just dropped it on uh, social media this morning. You dropped it on, okay, because I'm, I'm trying to understand these terminologies. I'm a little bit sorry. Oh, okay. Because I want people to know what, when you say you well, dropped it. I just it, put it on I'm social media it this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say that. There you go. Because you know, sometimes I'm not, you know, I'm like thinking, dropping it away. You drop it on the floor when you drop it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> 
But no, dropping it on social media is a whole different thing because then you're reaching, you know, yeah. other states or other parts of the world that you're putting it out there. And I think mm -hmm. that we, we need to know all that. We yeah, because the one I put on social media this morning is a family that we helped uh, about a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, we gave them a Christmas tree, we gave them some food, we gave them clothing. Um, so you actually made, you made their Christmas? Yes. So they weren't lost and alone at Christmas time. But isn't that kind of what Christmas is like? Yes. I mean, I know Thanksgiving is also like that. I know Thanksgiving is just the one day of giving food as well. Right. Christmas is the one day of giving food. But now you have an organization that hopefully you can do this every day. Yes. Because you're, uh, you're, you're not just hungry once a day. You're hungry every day. Every day. Yeah, it's not just... So, you know, you know and I just want to let people know we're not just doing this for the holidays. No. We'll be doing this all year. I think that's what people need to know because it always is we all come out toys for tots and we all come out for this and yeah. for that. But it's always around the holiday time. And I think we need to sort of let people know that this is an everyday thing you're trying to yes. do. Yes. It's, it's not just a one thing out of a year thing. Okay. What other talents do you have? Uh, also or should I, do, I ask your wife? <laughs> no. Uh, um, I also that do was just a slip, don't talk. worry. <laughs> That's okay. That's just a slip of the tongue. <laughs> uh, uh, I do photography. Um, um, I got a magazine. Uh, uh, you know Vincent Ward? I shot the cover for On The Rise magazine really? for Vincent Ward. Vincent Ward, yes. Yes, Are from Walking Dead. Yes, 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 yes. I did a cover oh, for him. Oh, I know him. who you mean. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So did you photograph and put it together and everything for him? Um, I did the photographing. Okay. I did a uh, photo shoot for him. Okay. And one of the photos made the front cover of On the Rise magazine. Okay. So I'm going to ask you a different question. I'm going to ask you, what is going on with Vegas in your mind? You've been here some time. Vegas is, you know, the music industry, the entertainment business. What's going on in your mind of what Vegas really is and what's going on? Uh, Vegas is an animal. It's an animal, yeah. I mean, it's, it's different things going on. I mean, you got different peoples from all over the world, so it's... it's you think you just got to stay in your you own lane and do your own thing. Yeah, do you think there's lots of opportunities here? It's great opportunities here. It's just get in. You got to know some people. You got to know somebody to know somebody to so get in where you got to It's not what you know, it's who you know. Right? Yes. So you've got to know a lot of people. You've yeah. Got to, in other words, you've got to put yourself out there. And you've like, we got to know you too. Yeah, you've got to know me. And then he gets on my show, and then we get to understand what he's doing. But I just, because you're not really, you know, you've never been interviewed, and you, you've, you're not really out there, out there. But mm -hmm. this gives you the opportunity to let people know who you are. And that's what our program does. Vegas Live with Nero gives people the opportunity to come on my show and present whatever it is they do. So that's what I'm trying to find out from you. Where you're going, what you want, where do you want to go? What help do you need? What, do, what, what help? help? Yeah, what help do you need? Because you can tell them about that. Uh, what help I need? Yeah. I need to check. No. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? Did you hear what he said? I need a check. Well, yeah, you can have a check for a dollar or whatever. But in other words, uh -huh. he needs a check and uh -huh. I can have a one, but lots of those. <laughs> yeah, with some zeros with on it. With zeros on yeah. it. But, yeah, I mean, so, you know. If people want to help, they can help. Help I your mean, foundation. Foundation. Okay. How do they get to your foundation? Uh, go to Operation Bring Your Best. You can donate. Um, it ain't got to be cash, or you can just donate items to you know to feed the people's in the city. You know what I mean? Um, to help build this, to help build them back up. Some need help. Some don't. Some don't even want help. <coughs> but let's help the ones that want to be helped. There you go. Help the ones that want to be helped, but also help the ones that don't know how to get out there or don't know how to do it because maybe they don't, they're embarrassed because they are homeless. So that's when we reach other people as well. You've been amazing. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, thank Eddie you for Bell, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's was in a position and now he's using it to move forward and he's got his own foundation. So thank you for coming on the show. Oh. It's wonderful to have him on the show. We'll be right back. Vegas Life with Ninan.